All right, beat makers and producers out there, I'm about to show y'all real quick how to make your drums hit hard. Uh, got a little bit of static come from the microphone, but it's all right. I'm about to show y'all a secret weapon. Now, this is a drum track. I'm finna play the drum track with no effects on it. I'm gonna show you how to make your drums hit real hard. Here we go. Now, the meter's hitting in the red, that's okay, because it just makes the drums sound more nasty. If you have more tracks like bass, synths, uh, pianos, whatever going on, you want to do some gain staging and make sure they don't hit in the red. But it's really kind of okay for your drums to hit in the red. It actually sounds pretty nasty. Um, some of the distortion is a little sweet. Uh, so... Go play the drum track again. The actual secret weapon that we are adding to this drum track is the SPL transient sh shaper. So let's click an insert and add it in real quick. Uh, I'm gonna pull it up in my list. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Da, 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 da. Here we go. There's a transient shaper. So we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna play the drums dry with no transient shaper. Here we go. Now we're gonna turn the transient shaper on, play with the attack. Let's go hit hard and snap. Here we go. You hear that? We are gonna turn down the output because it got a little louder now that that attack is there. And we're gonna turn it off and on so you can hear the difference. Uh, I'm telling you, this thing is amazing. It makes anything hit hard. We're going to play with the sustain. Sustain adds in a little bit of snap, catches the end of the drums. You can really shape the sound of your drums with this thing. I mean, oh my God. It's, woo, I love it. I love it. We're going to turn it off again. Look at that. Automatic hit. A little sustain back. Let those drums breathe. Now what I like to do is I will overdo the attack. Now, the reason I overdo my attack is something new that I just started doing. It's I'll add the 1176 make it more punchy here we go we're gonna add the 1176 after that so we're gonna turn it off first start the drums back then we go turn it on and you hear the difference here we go turn it on the 1176 compressor made it a little more snappy and we're gonna do a slow attack right there fast release that 76 is off here the difference now watch the punch come back now immediately I heard something I'm gonna do a little extra I heard a little something I would like that kick to be a little thumpy. So, all you producers out there, beginners, pros, EQing is everything. Everything. So, we're going to talk about EQ chart later, but I know most drums hit around 80 hertz. So, right here, we're going to use the Spectrum Analyzer in the Pro EQ in Stereo 1. Show me where everything is. If you look on the graph, the kick is hitting around 100 hertz or so. So we're going to mess with the 100 hertz around here because I would like some bottom in this thing. 